Uh, so it's Friday. Um, I kind of wanted to go over the quiz you guys took before we left each other. Um, and uh, do note, if you didn't get a chance to take the quiz, don't worry about it. I'm just going to excuse you from it. But I thought it'd be a kind of a good exercise to kind of go over um, what you should have put on the quiz. Uh, so quiz A was probably period five. Um, so a uh, couple things I want to mention about this one. Um, I gave you hydrofluoric acid as trying to find the pH. Um, hydrofluoric acid has a Ka of 7.2 times 10 to the negative fourth. Um, so in reality, you probably should use the quadratic on this one, but if you did, um, you get a pH of 2.09 instead of 2.07. Um, so again, this one, because of 10 to the negative fourth, um, you start to get into an area where you can't really cancel out that X. But like I said, for the most of part, I'm going to let you do the cancellation. So again, that's a weak acid, so you need to recognize that that is, again, x squared over the initial concentration equal to the Ka. The second example here was sodium fluoride. Again, you have to recognize sodium is coming from a strong component, so it's going to be neutral. Fluoride is then going to be the one that's going to take on the H, so you're going to have to look up the Kb value. Kb value is equal to x squared over the initial concentration. So then you have to realize that this is, <coughs> excuse me, the OH concentration. So if you take the negative log of that, um, you will not get the pH. You instead, the pH is going to be about 8, and you should recognize that this is a base, so your pH should be above 7. Uh, letter C was my example of a buffer. You needed to realize that this was a salt and that's a weak acid. That's a very classic way you're going to see this kind of question. Um, so hydrofluoric acid is going to have a Ka value of 7.2 times the negative fourth. So you're going to take the negative log of it to get 3.14. And then you're going to take the salt concentration, which is 0.15, over the F, um, HF concentration, which is 0.1, and you're then going to end up with 3.32. Um, again, this makes sense because you have more fluoride, so that's going to make it more basic. This is a bigger number over the smaller number, so that's why your pH is going to go where it is. Uh, letter D, this was hydrofluoric acid with nitric acid. Hydrofluoric acid, you should realize, was your weak acid up here. Nitric acid is a strong. So really, you don't have to do this part up here. You could have um, gone through the same motions. It was a different concentration. But because this is a strong acid, that's really going to drive the pH. So there's really no reason for you to do all of this work when the X is so very small. Uh, you could just take the negative log of this. If you got a different pH and you did both, I gave you credit for it, but it's kind of, again, silly to do all of that. And again, ranking it in order, I didn't really grade that, especially if you got any of these wrong. Um, so you will see that in your grade. Uh, period 7, you had 3B. Um, so the first one you had was sodium nitrite. Um, again, some of you probably misread it and saw it as nitrate instead of nitrite. Uh, so nitrite is coming from a weak component, so that is why it's acting like a base. Um, again, um, I think most of you probably missed this just because you didn't read it right. Um, so if you look up the Kb value for NO2 minus, you're going to see this number. It comes out pretty um, easy calculation. There's crossing out of X, no problem here. Um, so the only difference here is you do get an OH concentration. So if you take the negative log, it's 5.83. You need to realize that the pH is, again, uh, subtracting from 14. Uh, letter B was nitrous acid. Um, this one, again, you might have been in that area of doing a quadratic here. I don't even know if I calculated that correctly. Um, so again, if your pH is around 2.17, that's what I was looking for. Again, x squared over 0.1 um, gives you your H+. Uh, letter C on this quiz was sodium nitrite. 
and nitrous acid. So again, this was a salt, this was your weak acid. You look up your weak acid. Again, that's your Ka here. Um, so I take the negative log of that to get 3.35. My log of my salt concentration goes on top, which is 0.15. My acid goes on the bottom and I end up with 3.53. Same kind of rationale. The nitrite is acting like a base, so that pH should get a little bit bigger, that bigger number over a smaller number. Uh, like the other quiz, this is nitrous acid and nitric acid. Um, again, the strong acid is going to drive this reaction. Uh, so that pH is going to be the negative log of that. Um, you could have gone and done the nitrous acid. Again, it's just not worth your time. And again, I did not grade that last part. So again, this is some feedback for uh, whether you took quiz A or quiz B. It gives you some practice. Some of you um, did get a little confused on either one of these quizzes. So definitely take a look at this because, um, again, next week I am going to give you a test.